So let's take an example. Try a number. Got, for example, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 in binary. I'm going to convert this number into decimal. So I know I have 2 plus 4, no 8s, no 16s, and a 32. So 32 plus 4 plus 2. 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 32 gives me 38. And if I check my table, yes, this number matches what I expect for 38. But I can also do this for other bases. So if I work with that same number, I'd have 46 in octal. So I know that, well, 6 is still 6. 4 is actually 4 times 8, which is 32. So 32 plus 6 is also 38. Again, I could work with this in hexadecimal where it's 26. So here, 6 in hexadecimal is still 6 in decimal. 2, though, is 2 times 16, which is 32. So 32 plus 6 is 38 in decimal. So this method is working just fine, and I'm doing all the arithmetic in my destination base. I just have to know how to convert some of these parts from the source base into the destination base. So for another example, there's a larger number in base 2. Here I've got 1 plus 4 plus 8 plus 32. So 5, 13, 45 in base 10. And again, if I look, this number in base 2 is equal to 45 in base 10. So if I do that same number, say 55 now in octal, well, 5 in octal ends up being 5 in decimal. And the 5 becomes 5 times 8. So 40 plus 5 equals 45 in decimal. In hexadecimal, though, that number is 2D. So now I'll have some more work to do. So D in hexadecimal is 13 in decimal. Then I have 2 times 16, which gives me 32. 32 plus 13 equals 45 in base 10. 